Hey what's up hello guys it is Marcy and welcome back to my channel if you've been here before and welcome if you are new. Today's video is one that I am super duper excited about. So I was able to snag up one of the Disney Store Japan Lucky Bags and if you don't know what a Lucky Bag is, basically a lot of retail establishments in Japan after the holiday season release these mystery bags. They're usually in the form of like a reusable tote or a like regular you know canvas bag or anything like that like a tote bag um, where they put a couple of different random items inside the bags and they sell them at a discounted price. So usually the value of the items in the bag costs more than everything together. So it's a pretty good deal and every bag is different for the most part. So with the Disney Store in Japan, they released two different sizes of them. So there was a large bag and a small bag and with the Disney Store in Japan, they were ones where every bag was different. So the only thing you had in common was the actual tote bag that it came in, but the contents inside are completely random and every bag had different things. With the help of an Instagram um, Japan like personal shopper, I was able to snag the small mystery bag from the Disney store. I wanted to get the big one, but it was a little out of my budget and honestly, I like the bag that the small one um, came like all the things came in so I have had this bag here for like two days still in the packaging I just ripped off the packaging for the video so that that takes up less time for us here and I haven't opened it because I wanted to do this video and I know I said in my ear unbagging unboxing whatever that I was I didn't want to do mystery things anymore but I couldn't contain myself because I just love the merchandise from Japan I know a lot of people say that but it's just so true especially if you have like a thing for stationery Japan has the best stationery Disney stationery or if you are like me and you like pastel colors and things like that their stuff is just very very my aesthetic I guess you can say but let's let's chit chat and let's get on to the mystery bag which is this one here I cannot get over how stunning this artwork is so this is like I said this is the small one and it has Daisy on one side looking all types of dreamy and then on the other side it has Minnie from the photos that I saw on Instagram, they only showed the mini side. So I didn't even know that Daisy was on the other side or that it had a different design on the back because most reusable totes, especially here in the US, it's the same design front and back. So it's cool that there's a different design on the back. This is just the perfect size for me too because I don't know if you guys know, I've mentioned it in previous videos. I no longer use plastic bags so I have a very big collection of reusable bags especially Disney ones but I don't have any small ones and this one's perfect so mini Daisy and the cool part is is that it actually has a zipper up top so everything is secure in here and I already love what I am seeing now let's get into this bag because the anticipation is absolutely killing me <sighs> okay so the bag is unzipped i'm gonna try and not peek we're gonna see what we're getting i don't i also don't know how many items are in this bag so that makes it even more fun oh i feel something heavy okay so i'm gonna try and do the smaller items first because there's some big ones in here i can feel them but let's see what is the first thing we got um okay it is something stitch i don't know what it is it says twirl so I'm twirling. Oh, oh, it is a pen. Okay, so it's a pen. Um, it is a heavy duty metal pen, and then the pen cap is Stitch is little paw, and he's pointing. And then yeah, it's just a pen. Like I said, their stationery is awesome. Whoops, I almost dropped it. You saw that? Jeez. Um, their stationery in Japan is awesome. And I'm not a huge Stitch fan, so I don't know how much I'm going to use this, but I feel like Osmond would love this. Osmond likes Stitch. And does this come... What in the world? Okay. Okay. So it is a pen slash pointer stick. 
I don't know what you can use the pointer stick for. I feel like only teachers use this or like tourists that they'll be like, follow my, my pointer stick, friends, we're going this way. But um, that's a cool, I guess, a two for one in there. Um, it's cute. Like I said, I don't care for Stitch, so I don't know if I'm going to use this too much, but I can definitely pass it along to Osmond. I know he'll probably love this and find it very, very amusing. It is adorable. Like, super duper adorable. But we'll see. On to the next thing. Let's see, let's see. Um, okay, I feel something very tiny. Okay. Oh! What is this? Okay, so this is a mini marker of Donald Duck, my main boy Donald. It is very, very cute. Let's see if I can get my camera to focus on it for you guys real quick. So it is just this mini marker of Donald and it's, it's cute. It's blue. I mean, understandably so. And I have no idea what I would ever use this for either. But I love it. I love Donald. He's my favorite of the Fab Five. And this is super adorable. I am always getting asked at work if I have a marker. So maybe I'll just like keep this in my pocket because it's so tiny. So when people ask, I'll be like, yes, here's my Donald marker from Japan. Take good care of it. Next up, let's see, let's see. Oh, it feels like another pen, so we'll do this one. So we got another pen, and it is a black, yes, black ink ballpoint pen, and it has Arial. This is really pretty, honestly. It has Arial and five of her sisters. I don't know the sisters' names. I know they all start with A, and I don't remember how many she has. Um, but if you're a big Arial fan, you can probably point these out from here but this is very cute you don't see a lot of merchandise with her sisters it's usually just her so this is adorable feels heavy duty their pens aren't like cheap plastic they're like metal so this is very cute this like bottom part like the end of it is like squishy I don't understand why but you know whatever so let's see if I can give you guys a closer look of this so it's hard to it's very hard to see but it's Ariel and her sisters just goes around like that. It's got a pink uh, pen cap, which for me, I love. And it's just very adorable. You can never go wrong with stationery. I have a whole cup of cute pens and things here, so another one to add to that. And I have the biggest collection of like journals and notebooks and planners and things. And I use like a different notebook for a different thing. So I have like seven notebooks that I'm using right now. So you can never go wrong with pens. I I love pens. That's pens. <laughs> All right, what do we have next? I feel something springy. What is this? Oh my God. I love this. Oh my God, best thing. That's it, video over. Next thing that I pulled out of the bag is a um, PVC, I believe, material pass holder. And this is super duper cute because it's not like the pass holders that the parks have, which are like my Stella Lou here that they're like the plush bags. This is just like an everyday pass holder. So basically it comes with this little like card slot in the back and you would put your cards here and then you would just clip this to your bag or like your belt loop or anything like that. And then when you need it, you can literally just like pull it and tap or whatever, you know, the thing that you use it for is this is just super duper cute so it's like a snow globe and it has jasmine and it says jasmine at the bottom it has the little lamp and everything it's the close up of the pass holder it's just super super stunning i absolutely love this art style the way that they like put the princesses on merchandise in Japan is just a win-win for me. I have a few other princess items from Japan, not many, but a few, and I am obsessed. I just love the like pastel hues to the artwork, and it's just gorgeous. So it seems like we have, how many items do I feel in here? One, two, three, and four. Four more items in this bag and we've already taken out four so mystery bag came with eight items pretty good for a small bag if i do say so myself 
So let's see, I feel two more smaller items and then two larger items. So the smaller item is, oh, this is so cute. Oh my goodness. So like I just said, Japan, stationary, up there, number one. They are killing it in the stationary game out there. And they have the cutest like decorative tapes and washi tapes and things like that. And I just got one, and it is of Winnie the Pooh. I love Pooh Bear. He's my absolute favorite, and this is just so cute. I have a planner, and this washi tape, it's a thicker tape, as you can see from the size, but it has like the days of the week on the top in dripped honey, and then it has different little designs of Pooh at the bottom. And I'm guessing what you can do with this is in like a bullet journal or your planner and the monthly spread, you can like tape the top where the days of the week are and have a cute little Pooh theme. So you can kind of see it a little more zoomed in there. It's hard to tell with the glare, but it's just got Pooh's head and some honey pots going around. And I'm just super duper excited to use this, you guys. Like I can't, I didn't think I was gonna get a lot of stationary items in this, but from the looks of it, that's what the majority of it is, which I am totally okay with. Let's continue. I think we have three more items now. Oh, okay, one more smaller item, and it's in a packaging. Oh, this is cute. So like I was just saying, they have washi tapes, they have decorative tapes, they have pens and notebooks and everything in their stationaries, just A+. Plus. And I got a um, decorative tape dispenser. And this one is also of Winnie the Pooh, so they stood on theme, which I love. And like I said, this is all at random, so the fact that these match is amazing. And this one, I think it's like a clear tape. It's like the little the little tape one there, so you like put it down like that and you roll it across. And it has all of the Hundred Acre Woods gang. So it has Tigger and Kanga with Rue and Pooh with Piglet on his head on top of Eeyore and Christopher Robin um, with his little marching drum and music notes and poo stuck in a honey and uh, it's just super adorable. I can't wait to actually like try this out in one of my journals. If I can get it to focus for you guys. There we go. It's just so adorable. I can't wait to use this. It's gonna be the cutest poo theme. And we are down to the last two items in this bag. And they are larger, and I kind of already got a sneak peek of one of them, so I kind of ruined the surprise there. Sorry, guys. But it is a gigantic box. Well, you know, in here, gigantic box. And it is... Bam! So these are Hot Eye Care Mask, two pieces. The Fragrance of the Lavender. Um, they're basically like face mask, but like just for the eye areas. And I saw on Instagram a few people that got this bag, this exact bag. They had these and they have them in a bunch of different characters. Like I saw one that she got it and it was Lady and the Tramp. And so I got it as well. And I got Lotso and the Little Green Man from Toy Story. Toy Story 3 if you want to be specific because of Lotso. And these are cute. So it looks like you put them on your eyes. But then they also have it that you can wrap it around your ear or something and you wear it oh no you fold it over I'm dumb so from the instructions on the back you put it on the eyes and it has like two extra slits and then you would fold that over you leave them on for what I'm assuming is 15 minutes because everything is in Japanese and I can't read Japanese but I see the number 15 so I'm gonna go with 15 so you leave it on for about 15 minutes or so you let it you know soak and it's supposed to like you know, take care of your eyes. Most eye masks, that's what they do. They like decrease puffiness and things like that. And these are just cute Disney ones. I've never used Disney um, skincare products. We have face masks at the Disney stores here in the US and I've never used them just because I don't know their stance on if they're cruelty free or not. And I don't know if these are. I'm gonna take a guess that they're not. But I got them, so I'm not gonna let them go to waste. Definitely gonna use these. And the last thing is a very fluffy thing, and it's wrapped in plastic, and I've been feeling this this entire time, and it's taken everything in me not to pick this one. Oh, okay. 
So it looks like a towel. It's a white towel with Mickey and Minnie all over it in gray. Minnie's bow is red, their mouth is red, and then there's red Mickey's. It's just very soft. I'm gonna try and take it out of the plastic so we got some crinkly crink noises happening right now. Ooh, extra soft. Oh wow, okay. So it's kind of big. I mean, you know, can't use it to dry your body, but this is like an awesome like face towel, like after you wash your face to like pat it dry. It's super soft, which is good. I am just super worried because it is white and I don't want to get it dirty because it is cute. I would definitely use this to remove my makeup, but because it's so soft, way softer than the one I'm using at the moment, but it's white and I don't want to get Mickey dirty with foundation and stuff. But this is super cute. I know once my mom sees this video and she sees this, I'm gonna get a text message like, um, so how about that towel? Because my mom's bathroom is all Mickey and it's red, black, themed. So this would fit in perfectly with her stuff. Maybe I'll give it to her, I don't know. I'm kind of greedy because it's cute. All right, you guys, that is the end of today's video. I hope it wasn't too all over the place for you i feel like it was for me recording it but i hope you enjoyed this is just a little sneak peek as to the merchandise that they sell in japan and as you can see everything is like gorgeous and really well thought out and weird at the same time they just have like so many things that you wouldn't even think of like this for example that they sell over there and people love it and the contents i got inside were good so it was a win-win i hope you guys have a magical day or night and i will see you real soon in my next video have a great one guys